most mornings for me start right here meeting dad that's him pulling in right there in that red truck brake lights and all we meet here every morning we drink coffee he sometimes eats breakfast and we go to work from there uh, now a lot of people are like oh well, my gosh why do you start so late a lot of it is just because I enjoy getting to sit and talk with my dad every morning. Yeah, I, I could be sitting there in the woods right now waiting for it to become daylight to go to work, but eh, I don't. Which, as you can see, I'm in the star this morning. My dad and I are going to go get a load of logs first thing. And then the job site we're on, I and I didn't know this because I'm not a deer hunter, but uh, I guess Missouri still has a bit of a deer season going on until Sunday. And the property we're on, they lease the hunting rights. And where we started cutting, as you've seen in yesterday's video, or the last video, uh, we were right in there by where these guys are hunting. So the landowner asked if it would be okay if we didn't cut till Monday. And I said, absolutely, no problem. I've got a ton of things to do anyway, so not working till Monday is not that big of a deal for us. So... We're going to haul some logs first thing, and then tomorrow I might go cut on another job. When you meet blah, 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 we need to move that 548 and get it on a job. I'm anxious to see how it's going to do in the woods, get it to work. And, uh, I know so many people have asked about it. We've had calls, texts, comments. It's, uh, it's a good little skitter. Uh, we've got a few things we're doing to it, and I'll touch on that in the, in the videos to come, along with some other projects we got going. Super busy, super busy. <laughs> You can definitely tell the transition of logs here. These are all uh, low creek bottom logs. They could uh, go on the same creek further up the elevation. I would almost describe these are not really quite pasture trees, but they're not small uniform trees like we cut the bottom. I don't know if it's low. Video is low. I want to get back to video. It's pretty brisk up here on this low tree. Like I said before, this little 548. Kind of feels like a go kart compared to those 648s. It just feels like such a small skitter. Loading this by myself, which I can load the big ones by myself, but as you see in the other video, it's a lot nicer when you got somebody like Brandon there to kind of help guide you along. Now I'm gonna put this thing up here and kind of get a kind of get a look at it. I want to see where I'm balanced at on the trailer because this is the first time I've ever put this on my beaver. So we definitely want to make sure everything looks right on it, balanced out well. Uh, we'll pull quite a ways forward on it like this. Get right here. Now, I look at my blade right there and I'm a little, little heavy to my right side, which when I'm wide, that's where I prefer to be heavy. I'd rather have more load hanging off on the passenger side of the truck and trailer versus the driver in case I'm to meet another wide load or just a close call with a car or anything like that because I'd much rather hit a mailbox or a signs up with somebody's vehicle. Grapple is touchy. Oh, not too much. There we go. All right. Let's get out and see what it looks like. Okay, with the 28s, we're a few inches wide on the uh, driver's side here, but that's not too big of a deal. The thing looks good. We could probably come back a little bit with the machine. Uh, not too much, though. I kind of I kind of like the looks of it. Of course, for my haul, I always put my tag down anyway on the passenger side. Or maybe an inch or two more over. Not much over here either. Uh, definitely a lot nicer haul than the 648 as far as your widths. We're about 10,000 pounds lighter with this little machine. Got a brand new set of Primex 28Ls on it. So I kind of like the looks of that. Chain down. Chains right in here. Looks like our, we'll be all right where it's at. Good set behind the star car there. We'll get the ramps thrown up. We'll start gluing this thing down, get our flags and banners on. And we're gonna head north this afternoon with this little machine. First 
stop will be Peculiar, Missouri, which we'll knock that out this weekend from there. Try to get on up west and way, Jonathan. So a few weeks back, I actually moved a 540B to this job up here. And before I got a chance to start cutting this job, due to a little wet weather, I sold that 540B right off the job. So now I'm moving this 548G3 up here and it's gonna be the uh, maiden voyage of it with me. My goal is to get this whole job cut this weekend, which shouldn't be a problem. It's only 33 trees. I'm gonna try to breeze through that tomorrow. Hopefully at least get all the cutting done anyway. I might not get all the dragging done. I don't know, but I'll at least get all the cutting done. A uh, few trees I've got to push. One or two I might have to pull. So it won't just be run right in there and knock them all down, but uh, hopefully everything will go smooth without a hitch. But, uh, just a set of lumber, no high grade stuff, anything like that. But I was sure happy to get them on. Kind of see there in the mirror. We got a little overhang on each side. Of course, this is my driver's side, so I try to always load just a little heavy over here to the right on my passenger side. Uh, there's a set of scales here at Harrisonville. I I could have dodged them, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go through them, see what happens. Uh, they were closed, which I'm not upset about that. But I try to run extremely, extremely legal and look good between my banners, my beacons being strapped down, flagging chains. So I'm not really worried about a set of scales or getting pulled over by the DOT. Now I would rather not, but I'm still not too worried about it. All right, we'll get this thing off here, get it ready for in the morning. We're gonna get some fuel and dev and head home. Climb up in this little guy. Purrs like a kid. I can already tell me and this little machine, we're gonna have a very good relationship. I like how fast hydraulics are. They almost seem like they're faster on this than they are the H's. That might just be in my head. Don't know. But I do like the uh, the overall speed of this thing. Go ahead and get her off here. You cannot beat these eager beaver trailers. This thing, this whole trip up here, you know, it's over 100 miles yard up here. Uh, that western star with this beaver and this skitter pulls extremely well. Run down the road easy.